G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. It's actually 10 minutes since yesterday's video. Well actually, what day is it? It's 10 minutes since Sunday's video. And if you're a Patreon, there was one video in between that. If you're not a Patreon, the link is in the description if you are interested. But today, we're actually going to make the legs for the for the ply tanks. Um, They're dry enough to fill with water now, so what better thing to do than fill them with water? Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, anyway, so I'll show you what I've got to do. I'll get the tripod because I need six hands. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, see that little block on the ground there? Where is it? There. 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 Um, that's made of plastic, so my legs don't actually touch the ground. So in this situation where the ground is wet, the water doesn't actually get absorbed up into the legs and it stops the legs from rotting. In theory. Keyword, theory. Um, but anyway, it seems to be working good on all the other legs. Um, there is a little bit of rot on the one at the end here, but I think it was, I had a leaky tap at one stage and it was actually dripping on the leg. So anyway, now we need to measure up our legs. So we come up here, where we want to go, about there. Um, and then, we get our, oh there it is. We get our handy dandy tape measure. Um, I'm not using my laser, simply, I've got a worse reason for not using it. It's in the car. And I can't be like getting it out of the car. So, basically now, this is going to be difficult. I also have a shooting tape measure too, so, I'm making life hard for myself. So, I'm going to sit it on top of the other leg that's existing. Tape measure on the plastic packer. And then, get the leg level. 1676. And also, I don't think my level is quite level, so we're going to go both ways and get it even. Uh, uh, divide the number. Oh, 1676 is the same size. And maybe my level is level. Alright, so now we're going to do the other one. You guys can't see that well from there. The, I'm balancing on a bit of water over here. Uh, this is going to be wrong. So this is 1576. Uh, hang on, I'm going to wait this one out because it's going to be plus, plus 90. Uh, that's not right. I've done something wrong here, guys. I'm going to get the measurement and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, welcome to my little drop saw. It's a baby. But it does the trick. Um, I've got bigger ones at work I can bring home if I want. But honestly, this has been the best little drop saw. Um, I got it for a carton of beer off a mate. And um, I did all my decking with it, believe it or not. Uh, I actually had to cut into it with a grinder and, and modify it so the blade actually goes lower to get through the wide boards on the decking. But this little trooper did 170 square meters. No, 70, not 170. 70 square meters of decking. All the framework underneath. Sometimes bigger isn't better. The one thing I like about the little one is um, there's less moving parts, so it's it cuts more plumb most of the time. Because if you notice, sometimes the big ones, they flex and all that sort of jazz. So uh, if you've used them, you'll know what I'm talking about. It does bog down a bit, but... I think the blade's actually missing some teeth. What are you doing? 
I just heard the missus. Sounds like she tried to move that tub of glass and smash the, and the bottom fell out. Nope, she's shaking her head no. So I, I can't really guess what she did. But she looked, had a guilty look on her face. Anyway, I'm going to cut all these pieces and I'll get back to you. Alright guys, check this out. My missus is mowing the lawn. I'm not sure why. She absolutely insisted on mowing the lawn. I said I would do it once I've made these legs, but she said she wanted to give it a go. So that's actually Jaden's lawnmower. If you're watching Jaden, um, it's coming in handy because my other lawnmower is hiding behind rubbish and I couldn't be bothered getting it out. Um, running two stroke fuel in the four stroke lawnmower doesn't seem to be bothering it. It's not even blowing smoke for some strange reason. But anyway, back to the legs. All right, so hopefully the directional mic is working good and proper. <laughs> My missus is so fascinated by using the lower mower, so I'm just letting her go. <laughs> and we'll just keep going on here. Um, so I've got some 75 mil uh, treated pine screws. Um, I've got just enough, luckily. Um, this box pretty much built the whole fish room between this and a load of coach bolts. Um, I found three coach bolts. I'm spewing. If I had have found four, that would have been me done because the bottom one doesn't really need coach bolt because the bottom one is sitting on this block which is on the ground. So I could get away with just screwing it but we're short coach bolts so we might as well get them all. Alright, so step one, I've pre-drilled the block and then PVA, I'm going to PVA the hell out of it. No shortage here. Um, secret squirrel, so I'm not actually paying for the PVA. So I'm going to town on it. Nah, I'm joking. Well, I'm not joking. I didn't pay for the PVA. It's from work, but even if I was paying for it, I would be using the same amount. Fully covered surface. Boom, block on. Drill, then we need the right drive a bit. Um, that one there. Square heads is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. All right, now we just repeat that six times. No. Yeah, six times using exact measurements. So there we go, the legs are made. Let's go check if one fits. I I didn't check one off camera. I literally haven't picked them up. Oh, and the lawn's mode. Adjust lighting now. There we go. Um, so just a quick disclaimer. I don't actually steal whole bottles of PVA from work. Um, it's just in my tool bag for work. And if I'm at home, I use it. So. I don't want people to think I'm that dodgy. Just a little bit dodgy. Alright, so if I just put this on the ground, it should fit under them. There's a bit of a gap there, and then once that packer goes under, that, the, the gap's pretty even there and there. Um, 
It's going to be fun getting these under. I'll just say that much. Like, really fun. <laughs> I don't know whether to get the legs in first or put the styrofoam in first. I can't really ask you guys because I need to know now and not after, if that makes sense. I'll probably put the styrofoam in first. It's going to be a nightmare of a job. But the legs fit we can paint them now obviously the legs can't go in just yet because they're going to need a couple of coats of paint all right so now it's starting to rain but just a couple of coats of paint it's going to be difficult because my roller and the paint tin aren't really friends and i don't have a tray but we'll make it work um so like in this situation the outside is my main priority the front of the leg we can always paint that in situation but obviously I just rinse the roller and it's watering down my paint um, obviously the the bit that goes on the frame and all that we can't get to that so I really want to get a good coat on that before they go in Anyway, I'm going to give them a paint, guys. Make sure you get every little nook and cranny when you're in a fish room because the paint is what actually seals your leg. Um, I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, skip forward a minute. I actually got the styrofoam under the tanks. I didn't film it because it's probably a few too many swear words to put on um, YouTube. Uh, I've actually got to bump these tanks back over that way a little bit. Oh, that one's alright. This one's got to move. That one I think is alright. But anyway, we're trying to get this leg under. Um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. But I've got the missus here. <laughs> um, and we're going to try to pull it under. She just touched my back and realised how wet I am. I've just been laying on the ground. And I actually hosed it down before I laid down because I didn't want to lay in the dirt. <laughs> um, my trackies are drenched. And yes, I'm wearing trackies. Alright, so you've got and a few underneath the frame there. Alright, All right, you ready, mate? You're gonna lift the. Oh, I wish I was joking. Alright, lift as hard as you can. Alright, now I'm top one. Yeah. Alright, that was a bit easier than I expected. Alright, so leg one is in and leveled. Now I need to work out where leg two goes. Uh, 1500 divided by two, so 750, yeah? Yeah, 750, so there's a, there's a drip right here on the tank at 750, so that's my mark. We get our block underneath. Now this one should be easier. Oh, this one goes straight in. That was easy. Um, I don't really know why it's not touching. Doesn't need to go up, it's level. Maybe there's 
What's this one? That one's pretty good. Maybe there's just a bit of a kick in the timber there. That's bang on level. Oh, that'll do. Um, now I've just got to screw it up. I've got to make sure oh, it's going to be hard to get level. Yeah, I'm going to have to level it as I screw it up. Um, this little block here, you can't see it, but... It's firm now. Now I just gotta screw it all off. Alright guys, so now I'm putting the coach bolts in. Um, I really didn't expect to get this far today. Today was actually meant to be a rest day. Turns out I'm not resting. That's because if I get these bolts in, then I can paint that whole rip the rebate that I've done. And also if I painted both sides, I wouldn't be able to put it in yet because I would have to wait for the paint to dry. So, wow, well, that moved way easier than I was expecting. Ah, right, one more, one more. I think I'm going to wrap it up there guys, we'll save filling it up for another video. If you like this video guys, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.